Hello, Jane Faze here from Sydney, Australia. I hope you're having a great day today. Um, just This is video number three in this series. I've named this one Exodus Woman Mark II. Uh, if you've watched the previous two videos, you know that um, someone's requested to buy uh, the image. Rather than selling the original, I'm recreating one. Uh, I had a couple of lessons learnt about using an original um, rare page out of a book or a Bible in the collage. So a couple of things to note on this layout as it stands at the moment. Um, I've bought another Bible, as you can see here. Let me just put that under the camera. So it's another old Bible with beautiful layout, but instead of using the uh, original page out of the book, I have photocopied that, just black and white, and try and remove as much um, shadowing as I can. And then I've aged that page using a sepia or a walnut ink and to make it realistic just make it a bit darker in patches a few blotches and then i've torn it a bit to be able to be incorporated into the collage um, you'll also have noted that i made some uh, tissue elements painted tissue elements and this is how they've turned out they have turned out beautifully with all the creases and the mixed colours and that's what I was saying about not using a straight colour out of the bottle uh, or a tube but mixing colours does uh, look a treat. So uh, this is where I'm up to now. I am uh, have adhered the magazine image transfer that I got from my gel plate onto a book page so you'll be able to see just faintly some text through the clear parts of the image there and the reason I do that is so that then when I I mean I like the look of that underneath the face it just adds a bit of interest but also it means that uh, the music can't be seen through the tissue or the postcard or all these collage elements that are going to build up around her face. So I'm going to do a mixture of under and over. You'll see that I've got a postcard, some music and a map in the under layers and then I'm building up some things in the over layers. The idea is, is that there is a verse out of Exodus that uh, is to make sense of this. So um, I want that quite visible in the uh, final collage. So basically I go around and I just mark where my corners are so that I can uh, accurately position the uh, collage papers. Now the reason I'm doing it this far out, about five millimeters out from the piece, is that once they're glued down you get a chance to rub them out and it's very important not to put any matte medium or glue over these otherwise you won't be able to rub it out. And then I've got a bit of a mixture. So um, the page down here in there and then probably a few of these pieces I might just jiggle a bit um, once I'm gluing I'll uh, adhere with a mixture of matte medium uh, Yoohoo glue stick and apologies yes paste so depending on the strength required and the thickness of the paste the the paper or the cardboard they're the uh, adhesives that I use so um, yeah it's just obviously a mixture of antique 
papers and uh, handmade papers and printed papers. So I'm going to be working through this collage uh, using my adhesives, taking note of the layers. The other thing to make note of is to have taken a photograph and if it helps print it out to have it beside you so that you can get an idea of what layers go where. So that's um, quite important to just be um, really adhere things in the order in which um, they need to go. So I'll be working away on that and uh, in I'll show you uh, the final image in my Instagram feed. Thank you. Bye-bye.